So I'm Rhianne Edwards, a young adult paranormal and fantasy author and I hope that my truth today has helped somebody somewhere. Hi guys, I've got a bit of a different video than what I wanted to do for you today. I'm going to talk about mental health and mental health as an author and mental health as, as a parent and mother of two and we're just going to dive into that a little bit. So originally I wanted to do a Preptober series because I'm planning for Nano in November and whilst I am really looking forward to that I have been struggling because of one reason or another. <laughs> I mean last night my daughter did not sleep at all. I literally got about an hour's sleep and I'm really not exaggerating when I say that. So instead of trying to rush and pressure myself to get a whole Preptober episode out about characters, which I started yesterday, um, I didn't feel like that was being true to myself and being authentic because I said right at the very beginning that I wanted to show the realities and this is my reality. I am taking a bit of a nosedive in my mental health and I would say, I, luckily, it's not that lucky, but I've been in bad places before and I'm able to recognise the signs and recognise when my nosedive needs to be taken a little bit more seriously. It's not just hormones. It's not just this, that, the other. Like, I need to protect it. So that's what this video is about. I want to share that you know, I do not want to be one of those people on social media that someone else looks at and go, oh, I wish I could do that. Or I wish I could do what she's doing because that's not my reality and that's not what I want to share. And I feel incredibly isolated and completely alone when I know I'm not. And that gets highlighted or made worse when I go onto social media. Whilst I think social media is an absolutely fantastic tool to connect with people and to learn from, I think it also can be quite damning. And when I look around, when I'm in this frame of mind, all I see is the perception that people put out of themselves. And I rarely see the truth. And I think we all need the truth. So... I think recently I have been trying to be quite selective in who I follow and in who I engage with. I want to engage with authentic people because we are not perfect and we have our insecurities and we have our down days and we have mental health problems. And the more we try to hide it, the worse you feel. So on the other day, I was with both my children. I was very tired. I don't sleep well at the moment anyway. A mix of insomnia that I've had for years. And then both my children, my son is two, but he's not a great sleeper. And I've got a six month old daughter who's been going through some problems as well. And sleep just doesn't come very well to me. So I hadn't had much sleep and she was fussing quite a lot. I think she's teething. We've just started solids with her, but she's starting to react to something. She already has a cow's milk protein allergy, and I think she's reacting to gluten as well. So she wasn't very happy. Obviously, I don't blame her. It's not her fault, but it was a lot to deal with. And then my toddler also wanted my attention, and I couldn't give it to him. And the more he saw that happening, the worse he just got. Um, uh, You know, he's only two. He he is only two I can't expect him to really understand that but I got very upset and to be honest with you I just didn't want to be a mother on that day and I messaged a friend and I said I felt really guilty because there's lots of people who want to be parents and can't be or there's people who have lost children and here I am just wanting to walk out the door for a couple of hours obviously I didn't I stayed <laughs> I was their mother but that that was my success for the day. I stayed in the house and I kept us all alive and well. And some days that is literally all I can manage and some days that is that is the high point. You know what? Well done, Rianne. You kept two children alive and you kept yourself 
mm, semi-sane. So yeah, I felt really bad and she messaged and said that's absolutely true but your feelings are valid as well and what I was doing is just putting myself in a very negative cycle and I couldn't get out of it. Still can't <laughs> but you know. So what I want this message to be is that your feelings are valid. If you look hard enough, there will always be someone worse off than you. There are people fleeing for their lives from certain countries. There are people who have lost their entire livelihoods with volcano eruptions. There are people who have lost loved ones. And you will always find somebody dealing with something more than you. That doesn't mean that your feelings aren't valid and it doesn't mean that you're not as important, if that makes sense. So, you know, if you are feeling down, you're allowed to, okay? At the moment, everyone has had a bit of a rough time. And if you're someone like me, and I do feel like this is quite prevalent in the creative communities, I think because we have very wide and big imaginations, our brains are so open, we struggle to protect them, protect our brains as much. That's how I see it as well. I am very much wear my heart on a sleeve. I take everything personally. I recently did, um, I don't know how you say it, the Enneagram personality test and I came up as a type four. Wow, I don't think I've ever been as seen before reading that. And part of my struggles apparently were to do with not feeling authentic and not knowing where I fit. And that is definitely me. So, and some of the behaviours, the less desirable behaviours, I definitely fit into. And I put myself into these spirals. So, don't really know where I'm going with that. I'm literally just talking straight up. I've not got a script. I've not thought this through. This is just, just a video that I wanted to share with you that sometimes it is hard and I'm having a hard time right now. And I'm definitely in a sticky place. Of course, I feel lucky and grateful for what I have. Um, but when you have mental health problems, that knowing that doesn't always help. In fact, it can make it worse. So I might get to the point where I need to go and get medical help. I've not ruled that out yet. A part of me feels like if I do, then I'm admitting defeat and m maybe fit even worse. Um, but I'm trying to be really open with my husband about it. I think it's important to find somebody that you trust and can open up with. I have delivered quite a few um, massive <laughs> truth bombs on my husband in the past few months. I have made some quite drastic decisions with with the support of him obviously and I feel like there was yesterday was a turning point for me again because I'd had several days of feeling how I was feeling and I just said to him I can't cope and it was quite freeing in a way because he was very supportive and that's why it's important to find somebody who is supportive of you and who you trust explicitly. So what I proposed to him would be even an even bigger financial pressure on us. And I felt like I was failing. So maybe I'll go into it another time, all the ins and outs, but that's sort of the crux of what I want this video to be, is find someone supportive, don't be afraid to share, your feelings are very valid and if you are around people who tell you oh but I've had this and I've had that then they're probably not the right people to be around okay or find some other people um, reach out to me if you need to I will happily be a listening ear to anybody because I have been there I am there I'm still doing nano 
because last year I was in a not quite as bad a place um, but I was dealing with some trauma and I'd been off ill from work and I was pregnant with my little girl at the time and suffering quite a bit and I did a whole new project this YA fantasy forbidden love project and it was very therapeutic for me I needed that I needed that sort of challenge and motivation and it was it was it's a great challenge I know some people might find it too stressful but for me it was like well if I don't make 50,000 words for the nano challenge the only person that's affecting is me and I found it really good to just block out everything and really focus on this story now people may not say that's healthy I don't know it was healthy for me and it's what I needed and it helped me get through a difficult time and the same again now so I am still in prep over I am still planning and prepping um it's just taking me a bit longer than I anticipated and with the lack of sleep as well it's it's quite difficult so, so I am still working it's just not going to be as it's not going to be how I envisioned it and that's okay so we're changing our plans to show you that you know it's okay not to be okay and as much as I still feel it's a sign of weakness it's not and I need to look at it as a sign of strength that I am recognizing these signs and I am talking to people and I am trying to actively work towards changing that. That is strength, that is not weakness. And the same goes for you. And hopefully no one has looked at my videos or my social media presence and gone, oh, she's perfect, she's doing it all, she's got family, she's doing her writing, she's doing this, that and the other, and think I've got it together because I really don't. Um, maybe I need to do a better job of showing the realities of it but I think we should share we share our stories which are a part of us so why don't we share this because the more I see people covering up the worse it makes me feel so hopefully some people have resonated with this hopefully you're feeling yeah no I feel the same I'm not alone and lord if that's the only thing that comes out of this video that somebody watching doesn't feel alone then that would that makes my day so comment down below dm me follow me on instagram and message me i will always be there to listen to people that that want to sound off whatever you're feeling is totally valid and it's okay it is okay and we will get through it and we need to see it as a sign of strength that we recognize this and that we're working towards it so I'm Rhianne Edwards, a young adult paranormal and fantasy author and I hope that my truth today has helped somebody somewhere but please do connect with me, I would love to talk with more people, I'd love to feel less alone as well and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!